Welcome students to the interweb, Phil Beckwith, wallpapering video today. Been a couple of parts this will, because I'm going to do it um, in bite sized chunks. First one, first one we're going to talk about is going around sockets, wall sockets, plugs, light switches. So I've got an interesting one, everything's interesting. Got two sockets here. Got an aerial socket and a double socket. Now I've come along with my wallpaper and my next drop is going to take me part way over the double socket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk you through it, how easy it is to actually paper around a socket and I'm not on about going literally around it, I'm on about tucking the paper in at the back. So um, let's have a few second breather. So while you're away for a bit of a two second, get yourself a cup of tea, whatever you're going to do. I'm going to get my length down, hang it from the top, bring it all the way down, ready to put at the back of these sockets. Now I would say if you feel more comfortable turning your power off at the fuse board for your sockets, do that. I'm not going to worry because all I'm doing is literally loosening it and tucking the paper at the back. There should be no wet paste at the back touching any socket wires, so we should be all right with that. Failing that, RCD trips out. So, seeing a few, let me get this length on. I've got it cut ready, and I'll show you how you do cutting round sockets. So, over and out. So I'm back, got it down. A few minutes job. This is a paste the wall, lovely paper. That's it, paste the wall. If you see behind me, I use Wix tub paste. I always say to people, Wix tub paste, brilliant. I can't say that I've needed anything else, unless it's a specialist paper that recommends a certain paste, their own, normally their own brand. But no, Wix paste, ideal for this, paste the wall. Now, what I've done, just slightly thinned the Wix tub paste because it just needed easing slightly to make it easier to apply. I am um, cutting with a brush and then use a roller and roll top to bottom. Now hang from the top, come all the way down. These walls are a nightmare. Now I don't want to say a top tip Tuesday and a tip from pro because it's not really because it's just common sense. Now if your walls are running out your pattern, your pattern match might run out. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to tell you is a top tip, get your paper on, don't get it down fully, don't be brushing it all the way down until you've checked what the pattern match is like at eye level. So on this paper, it might run out slightly at the top and it might be running out slightly at the bottom, but do you know where it doesn't run out and where it does match? It's about five, six foot up at eye level all the way across there, all the way around the room, it's matching. So as long as you can get your paper matching at eye level, you can't do any more than that. I'm not talking about wallpaper in this time, I'm talking about actual going around sockets. So here we have it, my joints all the way down. You can't see the joint, I can just feel where it is. I've got a seam roll in my pocket, I can just nib it down a little bit like that. Squeaky mouse, squeaky mouse. So where are the sockets? Let's bring it down, let's have a look. Get you there. Right, let's show you how to do it. Get me pencil. I'm gonna feel, right, there's one socket, there's another. Zoom me in a bit. Oh, technologies. Right, so we're there. Hello. Right, there's a corner of the socket, there's four corners, one, two, three, four. What I'm doing, I'm just marking with a pencil up to the corner, down, down, up, up. That's one socket just there. Let's see, it's just there. My next socket, the corners are here. One. So now what I like to do, get a sharp blade, 
snap off blade. You see that? I'm just gonna oh, snap off. Put a new blade on. So I've got a really sharp blade. See that? Get rid of that. Let's come back up. So here we are. I can feel these corners and I've marked it with a pencil. All I'm going to do now is get the blade where the pencil mark is, pull your paper away and just cut it to the middle. There's another one. Cut it to the middle. There's the other one. Four corners, that's three corners are done. Cut it to the middle. Fourth corner, cut to the middle. And then get me shears, not scissors. Hairdressers use scissors. These are proper shears, look. Right, cut out that centre. So you can see the socket now. Bring it back there. See the socket there, right? Let's do the same with this one. There's the corner. Get me corner cut out and there. Now you could use shears for cutting, but I've used my blade. Right, same here. I know I want to have a little bit of an overlap. I'll do it with a pencil. It's not something to do. Between there and there is the edge, but we want to tuck it in. So let's bring it in a fraction of an inch, a few millimetres, right? So I'm going to bring my shears up and just cut between those gaps. You see that? We've got an overlap flap. Now with this, because we've got part of a socket, just mark below the socket. There and there, so we know we're not going to cut too tight. And the same again. I know that the corner's there, I want to cut short of that. There, just short. Same with that one, just short. So actually, I've got flaps. I've got flaps around that socket, you see there? And I want to do the same with this. I want to trim these down. So where do we want them? We don't want them too far. You want to just mark it with a pencil, you can do. I won't do marking with a pencil because I know where they are. I'll trim them back, right. So, as long as you don't go as high as what your initial first corner cuts were, you know you're going to have an overlap. There we All the way around. Now when I'm doing this, I'm quite quick with it. I'm making a bit of a meal of it because it's a video. I want to get it over 15 minutes. How many joking? Get the adverts in. Pay for that Porsche. So I'm cutting. Right, and there we are. I can trim that a bit more because I can't actually see. Trim a bit more off that. Right. right. With my screwdriver. Screwdriver? Right, it's in my pocket. Screwdriver. Right, we're going to loosen these off now. For lining, because I line this with 800 lining. For lining, I just cut round them because I know I'd be taking them off. I'm going to trim that back a bit more so I can see where the actual screw is. Yeah, we can see that. Now be careful that when you take the face plates off, there might be a bit of dust dropping. In particular, when you've got to paste the wall. It probably will stick to your paste. Right, so I've loosened that off enough. There's no power on this because it's only a television aerial. Right, I'm just going to get a bit of paste on the brush and make sure I've got enough paste on these edges. Don't worry if it gets over your sockets. because they can be wiped off, right. Let's pull that on an angle and let's get that through there. There you go, there's one. Moving it round. Actually loosen that one off a bit more. There you go, it's off. 
get that round. Now this is the easy one because we're only part way on it. We can tuck this literally at the back without having to take it off. Ooh. Oh, is that a kick of electric? Got you then, didn't I? Only joking. So we've got that on, look. You can see. Right, I'm just going to squeegee that in. All right, that, that. Get it all the way down. That's nice. Then just get this joint matching up. Let's work the joint, baby. Work the joint. I'm getting that all the way down. So there's no way the ball's higher up. I use the plastic spatula and the user hanging brush. Just get it there. Right. That's all the way in. I said there were two parts to this video. The second part will be how do you do external look at me. How do you do external corners? So that'll be the second part. I don't want to do it all in one. So there we are, we've gone around the sockets. It's the same principle for light switches, double sockets, single sockets. Right, I'm trimming this off. In clear across. Damp warm sponge, get any paste off the face of the paper and the skirting, right, renounce on that. Let's just nip these back up. Now I know these aren't very nice sockets, but they are being changed, which is good. Light the screws up at the back. If you want to get a spirit level and spirit level them back up, feel free. I'm not going to over tighten. Can feel paste on that, so damp sponge, wipe it all the way around off the face. Same with the plug socket there. So it's nicely in, all the way at the back, tucked in neatly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you professionally go round plug sockets. Don't cut, tuck them in at the back. Another thing, I see a lot of people and they're getting a blade and they're cutting across the face of the plastic to trim it back. Don't do that, that's bad practice because all you do is damage the socket. You don't want to do that. So mark it with the pencil and cut to the pencil. So are you with me? Are you happy on that? Shall we call it a day on this one? I'll say thank you very much for listening. Just a quick, easy one. See on the part two where we're talking about this corner. I need to go and get a drink.